Hey guys, it's the Master Debater, and this is going to be Tips and Tricks number 2 for StarCraft, <laughs> episode 2. Um, today I'm just going to be doing some more basic tri tips, uh, largely a lot of them have to do with Terran, but, oh well. So, I'll be getting to it as soon as I have a couple of Marines up. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about stutter step right now, and this is a method where you basically start moving, uh, or well, it's kind of like you attack while you move. What you do is, uh, as you move your marines around, you uh, press S, and they'll automatically stop and attack, and once they attack, you move them immediately as the attack animation starts. So, as you can see, my marines are like moving their rifles away as a... Uh, as they move, see uh, the guns are facing away as they move, which means they're uh, moving as the animation starts, which means they're also attacking uh, technically as they move. And that's how you stutter step. It could help you keep up with fleeing units, kind of helps you attack faster. It uh, basically lets you attack while moving. So I could essentially, it, uh, it's extremely useful when kiting zealots and stuff. Alright, so next up, I'm going to be talking about the, uh, it's something called a husky calls the SCV Love Hut. Basically what you do is if you have an injured, uh, if you have an injured SCV unit, actually no, yeah, just SCV, um, if you, oh crap, <laughs> if you put it in a bunker and have auto repair on, they will automatically repair the SCV even though it's in the bunker. And this is basically mostly useful for uh, things like bunker rushes, I guess. If you have an injured SCV, you could just pull it back into the uh, uh, bunker where it's relatively safe. And then um, another thing about Terran is you could hotkey all their production facilities to the same... Uh, the same hockey and what you can do or the reason you would do that is because you can do something called the tabbing through production facilities facilities if I press tab see as you can as, uh, as you notice right now I only have my barracks but if I hit tab I'll be able to produce things out of my starport too so this way you don't have to hotkey things like five to um, uh, five to like your barracks or like three to your barracks and five to your as to your starport and six to your factory. You could just have them all under one hockey and this makes it easier to manage uh, your hockeys. Another neat trick is uh, where if you rally point to rocks and then uh, hold shift and rally point to somewhere else, the units you send there will automatically break down the rocks and uh, one second. <laughs> they'll automatically break down the rocks and once they do that, the rally point for the rocks will disappear and it'll just become this rally point. Uh, this isn't evident right now because I don't have any units, but uh, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I might as well show you something else. Oh uh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see here, they're rally pointed to attacking that, and while I'm waiting for that, I'll just be showing you how to do a specific type of drop. Now normally when you drop, if you hold press D and then tell them where to drop, they'll just all drop in a clump here, like so. However, this is uh, most evident from baneling bombing, or when you want to drop, say, behind their supply line and you want to drop in a line so banelings are less evident, or something like that, I don't know. Whatever works for you. If you uh, press D while you press D and then click on the transport unit the unit will drop or the transport unit will drop your other units in the motion that it's traveling so if I hit D it will drop it in a lot all my marines in a line like that and this is really useful for uh, mostly just baneling drops as you can uh, choose where to drop your bombs per se so uh, that's just another drop method with your uh, units and as you can see they've broken the rocks and the rally point is now set here so um, that's just a way if you want to break rocks ahead of time but you don't want to like manually tell your units to break them and finally I'm going to be talking about 
And then finally, I'm just going to be talking about uh, marine splitting. So, one way to, uh, to do this, as I've seen on the Team Liquid forums, is to patrol your marines in a direction. So, apparently this helps them keep formation, as long as you don't reach like here. If you patrol them away, you could just split off small groups of marines to make your uh, to make the most use of them, so they don't just get absolutely raped to pieces by banelings. So, um, this is mostly useful for uh, marine marauder type builds or mar mass marine or uh, anything that involves a lot of marines. This is where uh, you would want to just patrol them away and then have like a group of marines just attack the banelings. So most of the banelings are taking out while you're lo taking minimal losses for the marines. Um, of course, if you don't have much space or if you're in a constricted area, this won't work out as well. But it really depends on the situation. And if you have stim pack, uh, there's a fairly good possibility that the uh, <laughs> the splitting will work out fairly well. So finally, my last tip isn't really going to be a useful tip. It's just something cool that I learned a while back. If you type in slash dance, your marines will start dancing. <laughs> it's just a little neat trick slash easter egg that Blizzard had added it in. And a lot of units dance, uh, Thors, Zealots, I don't know, um, you could experiment with them. Hydras do or don't, I don't think they do. But that's going to be the end of my little StarCraft seminar today. I hope you find it useful. If you didn't, uh, please tell me how I can improve them. If you did, please tell me how I can improve them. Alright, so I hope you find this, uh, I hope you have found this helpful. And Master Debater out.